Hi guys, good to have you. This is Essie Limia. Thank you for being here with me and thank you for logging to my YouTube channel. So earlier in the week, I posted a video on the single diary, 35 unmarried, how do you truly feel? I wanted some, some persons in that category or people who have friends, family, um, colleagues in that category to at least give us a response because sometimes we really need to um, encourage these persons because sometimes we put up a very beautiful atmosphere like oh meaning that everything is fine everything is interesting everything is good and but sometimes it's a bit not so it's a bit overwhelming because you have to think of so many things concerning that so i put out that video and um, i shared um, with about five of my single friends who i know are actually up to 35 and still single and ready. I wanted to hear their response, but just two um, responded and also someone responded in the video, yes, commented on the video on YouTube. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Your opinion of you was really interesting. So let's listen to what they have to say about being single at uh, 35 and I'm old. Okay, good morning. One of the respondents here says, uh, my friend actually said, to be honest, the situation is not palatable because it seems we've not yet achieved what is actually necessary especially as a woman coupled with pressure from family friends um, peer groups and society as it were be that as it may just be the best you can at every point in time ensure you are not the one scary man <laughs> ensure you're not the one scary man by your attitude lifestyle stop enjoy your sisterhood why it lasts i really appreciate this coming from my very dear friend like this is someone i've known for about um, a decade yes we've known each other well both um about in this category so and i'm so glad she responded to me she responded like she just saw the video and responded to me so sometimes in our corner we talk about all these things and some of the things that would have happened but either ways we conclude like i said in my last video we also get to the conclusion that uh, well god knows the best and all of that like every other waiting period i've seen people couple who waited i know someone who waited for about 10 12 13 years to have the first child and i remember them that was even like six years ago when they were giving a testimony or so no about seven when they were giving a testimony when they had a baby they started saying at every stage how you get married and within the first two the first year of marriage of being married second year respecting your child but having to wait they share their experience it was a church up so they share their experience at every stage in life the woman was a teacher how she gets to uh what she gets to uh meant like when she gets to parent or to be past your child in school, people will tell you, oh, you are doing this because you do not have a child of your own, get a child of your own, then you know how to take care of a child. But this was her being trying to be a good mother, a great mother to kids there. So I've had so many testimonies and so many people would also say um, that if there is anything that pains most is waiting to have a child. I understand. But in conclusion, like also, I've also known at every point in stage is that every waiting period have their advantages and disadvantages so it is left for the person in the waiting period to analyze the situation and know what works best for them imagine someone who graduates with good grades from higher institution you're done with your nyc you're trying to get a job six months past you're still waiting to get a job 12 months past 18 months 24 months you really get worried so that's just an example a typical example of also another waiting period then for the sister who is different in, in totality so i'm going to like i already mentioned um i'm going to read okay now this is another comment from the youtuber um from the youtube person and she says being single at stage seven has actually given me more time to discover myself i sometimes feel that i really do need that companionship at a more committed level Another thing is that I never let societal pressure move me. Some people think I've set high standard for myself. It is what it is. And uh, so I've placed the full um, story here so that you can take a look at this. So that's another thing on the YouTube. 
YouTube video I posted it last time. I really and I sincerely appreciate these comments. So these are some of the things that happen. Because sometimes um, the atmosphere you portray outside is so beautiful, people do not really know what to go on inside your closet. I know for so many of us, we have so many activities happening in our closet. Some of the things we really cannot share or talk with people. So another of my friends also commented on my um, yes, on my WhatsApp status, the video I sent to her, and she said, babe, you know the story. It is not uh, uh, it is not really so easy and so interesting but what can we do we really need to be very optimistic and believe that when it eventually happens it happens beautifully that is the whole idea that whenever eventually it happens it happens beautifully undermining what has happened in the past what is happening let's all be, all be optimistic and for those in this category or those who have friends in this category try once in a while to reach out to them let them know how much you love them they may not ask you they may put out a very positive attitude but sometimes just try care about them like i already mentioned so many of us will have different things happen to us at every point in time but we should all be there for each other if you have friends waiting for a particular team or the other try to um to encourage them in one way. I know so many people are a bit on the very converse converse side like and interested people who really don't like sharing their negative things or some of their personal stuff with people but just a warm and a um harmless yes a warm and a harmless wish would not do um, any harm to anybody so ladies and gentlemen so this is where i wrap this up today and if you stay here and you know people in this category if you don't mind you could share with us some stories beautiful things you may just be an encourager to somebody you may be the best next thing they want to give them up this day again i would not forget this is a Google friday and i am your girl AC Libra. thank you for being here with me on my youtube channel so um if you've not subscribed yet kindly do this for me we talk about topical stories we talk about some of the things that affect us in our everyday living so share with us in the comment section your thoughts your feelings and uh, everything but for this i'll be doing more series on this I'll be doing more series on this single diary 35 and waiting 30 and waiting 40 and waiting so we're going to do that and also get people to share their um, real life experiences so here yeah, I cut the cutting or I join the cutting guys once I come your way again I remember your girl thank you for being here with me and to have a very very pleasant time guys